space. It is a deadly vacuum full of floating rocks and ice. But this vacuum continues to lure people into exploring it. And with the space race of the 20th century, we have reached the moon and sent probes in the beyond. But experts are arguing that a new space race is rising in the distance, and this could push us to reach for the stars. Today at Finance Spur, we'll find out the potential second space race. But for more videos about finance, technology, and business, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Did you know there is a large amount of water on the moon? This is a groundbreaking discovery that affects space exploration. This fact, though relatively unknown to the public, was confirmed in 2009 and has since sparked a wave of excitement and interest in lunar studies. Water on the moon is a precious resource that can serve a vital purpose for future space explorations. One of the most immediate benefits of lunar water is its potential to sustain life in space. With a local source of water, future lunar missions could support astronauts' drinking water and other life support needs, reducing the logistical challenges and costs associated with transporting large amounts of water from Earth. Additionally, the moon's water can be harnessed to generate oxygen through a process known as electrolysis. This oxygen is vital for breathing, both for astronauts and as a component in rocket fuel production. Hydrogen extraction from lunar water also opens up the possibility of using it as a valuable fuel source. Hydrogen is an efficient and clean burning fuel, which could power spacecraft and contribute to making lunar missions more sustainable and cost-effective. The availability of water on the moon fundamentally transforms our approach to space exploration, making it more self-reliant and increasing the feasibility of establishing a permanent lunar base. And with these discoveries, countries are ramping up their space programs, and this could cause another space race. The August of 2023 marked a thrilling chapter in space exploration, as two major players in the space race Russia and India, engaged in a tightly contested competition to revisit the lunar south pole for in-depth research. India, eager to expand its foothold in space exploration, took the initiative by launching its lunar probe a full four weeks ahead of Russia's mission. Tragically, just as it seemed that Russia was on the brink of beating India to the lunar south pole by a mere few days, disaster struck in their lunar mission. Russia's Lunar 25, after a long and perilous journey through space, spiraled out of control and crashed during its attempted landing on the lunar surface. The sense of anticipation and excitement was quickly replaced by a mission gone bad. In a twist of fate, only four days later, the Indian lunar probe would touch down successfully, marking a historic achievement as it became the first country to achieve a South Pole landing on the moon. Simultaneously, with the lunar missions conducted by Russia and India, NASA has been diligently preparing for its much-anticipated return to the Moon. This ambitious endeavor is part of the Artemis program, which sets its sights on putting humans close to the Moon's surface around 2024 and a manned landing by 2025. What distinguishes the Artemis program is its collaborative nature as it unites the efforts of various space agencies and nations. The program features cooperation between NASA, Canada, Europe, Japan, Israel, Australia, and India, making an international commitment to exploring and utilizing the Moon for the betterment of humankind. The goals of Artemis also extend beyond the initial lunar missions. It plans on the establishment of a permanent lunar base, marking a historic and transformative leap in human space exploration. The lunar outpost would not only serve as a launching point for further exploration of the cosmos, but also provide a testing ground for technologies and practices crucial for future missions to Mars. In essence, the Artemis program is a stepping stone toward humanity's greater ambitions in space laying the groundwork for the colonization of Mars. 
Another major player in the space exploration is the Chinese Space Agency. Chinese space exploration has rapidly evolved into a formidable force in the realm of cosmic exploration. In recent years, China has made significant strides in its space program, earning international acclaim for its achievements. The China National Space Administration, or CNSA, has successfully launched crewed space missions, including the deployment of its space station called Chang'ong, or Heavenly Palace. China's lunar exploration program, most notably the Chang'e missions, has also made substantial progress. Chang'e 4, for instance, became the first mission to successfully land on the moon's far side, expanding our understanding of this uncharted lunar territory. The country has also laid out ambitious plans for Mars exploration, with the Tianwen-1 mission successfully deploying a rover named Zurong on the Martian surface. Aside from countries, private entities like SpaceX also plan to not only colonize space but also profit from it. SpaceX, led by entrepreneur Elon Musk, has become a prominent player in the field of space exploration, revolutionizing the industry with its innovative approach and ambitious goals. The company's main mission is to make space more accessible and ultimately enable the colonization of other planets, with Mars being a primary target. SpaceX has achieved a series of significant milestones, including the development of Falcon 1, Falcon 9, and Falcon Heavy rockets, which are known for their reusability, reducing the cost of launching payloads into space. But one of SpaceX's most ambitious projects is the Starship, a fully reusable spacecraft designed for long-duration space travel, including missions to Mars. This colossal vehicle has the potential to revolutionize human space exploration by carrying large crews and cargo on missions to other planets. And with the recent SpaceX successful test flights of the Starship prototype, demonstrating its potential as a game-changing vehicle for deep space exploration. So what can we expect from what we talked about? The future of space exploration holds immense promise, as it represents a continuation of humanity's quest to unlock the mysteries of the cosmos. In the coming years, Space agencies and private companies are poised to expand their efforts, with a strong focus on crewed lunar missions. Beyond the Moon, there's a growing interest in exploring and potentially colonizing Mars. SpaceX's Starship and NASA's Perseverance rover are just a few examples of initiatives aimed at advancing our understanding of the Red Planet. Robotic missions to distant asteroids such as OSIRIS-REx's mission to Bennu are expected to give insights into the origins of our solar system. These endeavors, along with the ambitious plans for asteroid mining and the eventual emergence of commercial space tourism, signal a future where space exploration will become more accessible, diversified, and integral to humanity's journey beyond our home planet. The future of space exploration will not only deepen our understanding of the universe, but also open up new possibilities for scientific discovery, resource utilization, and even the potential for human settlement on other celestial bodies. Experts all around the world are already marking this era as the second space race. But this time, Aside from nations competing for the first place, private corporations are also joining the party. If you want to know more about SpaceX and how they plan to conquer space, check out our other videos. But for more amazing videos about finance, technology, and business, don't forget to check out our channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that notify bell for upcoming videos. For now, this is Finance Per. Have a great day.